All right, guys, car audio Q&A, and Brendan's in the background making a lot of noise, but he's being productive. So, today's question is from YouTube, and it's from Colin H. I think we may have answered one of his questions before. Anyway, I have two, what? Oh, nice mustache. I have two 10 inch woofers. I have them hooked up to my amp, no sound. I checked all the fuses, they're good. I'm glad you checked the fuses. Um, all the wiring is good and hooked up, but no sound. If you could help me with that, that'd be great. Thanks. Thank you for your questions. Thank all of you for all of your questions because without your questions, I wouldn't be here. This goes back to having the right tools for the job. So you're definitely gonna need a multimeter. I've said this many times over and over in videos. So if you're watching this for the first time or the hundredth time, go buy a multimeter and hit pause. Hit pause, go buy a multimeter and then come back. And maybe in another video, we'll actually show you with a multimeter how to check a few things. That way we don't get these weird questions anymore. You'll be like, oh, thank you. I got a multimeter and it fixed my problem. I figured it out. So go get a multimeter, a multimeter, a multimeter. Maybe you already have one. I don't know. You didn't say. And I just spit on my tablet. Uh, you need to check with a meter to see if you have power. A lot of times, and I think we've said this before in videos, sometimes if you're using like a glass fuse holder up under the hood, just visually, if you pull the fuse out or just looking through the fuse holder, the fuse will actually look okay and look fine. However, glass fuse holders suck. And the reason why I say this is because when they get hot and you're pulling current through it, the little trace that's in the middle of the fuse where it's soldered inside to make contact with the end caps of the fuse will actually come unsoldered and no longer make a connection. So to the eye, it looks like you still got a good fuse. However, if you had a multimeter, you could quickly see that you have no power going to your amplifier. Or if you do, it's probably only four or five volts because you have a really bad connection inside that fuse. So that's one thing. Obviously, we've always said check your ground, check your remote, make sure you've got adequate power at your amplifier so you know that it's on. Some amplifiers, even though the light might be on, it can still turn on with even eight, six, 10 volts and not operate. It's not in the operating voltage range for the amplifier to actually function. This happens all the time. Another thing would be to check the impedance of your woofers. Maybe they're wired out of phase and maybe you're not getting anything from them because they're canceling each other out. Maybe you've got a burnt voice coil. Another thing you might want to invest in is a tone generator or a signal generator. That way you can plug right into the preamp input of your amplifier and send signal through the amp to see if you've got a problem with an RCA cable or the pre-out on your deck. So those are things that you can easily check. If all else fails and everything checks out, your ground's good, power's good, fuses are good, voltage's good, impedance good, nothing's out of phase, and you're 100% positive that you got signal going to the amp, then the only thing I can really say is your amp took a crap, it's bad, which I have seen happen before. They turn on, but they have no output. So hopefully that answers your question. I think you've got some things to check, and I think you gotta go buy a multimeter. Alan with Sonic Electronics, see you later.